right. Scary Alvarez, Skull Session, Saturday afternoon. Rough, rough times for Luke Fickle's Wisconsin Badgers in Bloomington today. Might have been about uh, third full stadium. Well, it filled up a little bit as, as the game went on. Probably a bunch of kids ran from across campus to whatever uh, relatively boring thing they were doing uh, to try and get in that stadium uh, when it became became uh, clear that the Hoosiers might pull the upset today. But anyway, as the kids say, it was what it was. Uh, Wisconsin dug itself in a big 17-7 to hole at halftime. Had opportunities in the second half to pull this game out of the fire uh, in a different way, but similar in some ways to what they did in uh, Champaign, Illinois a couple weeks ago. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Hoosiers wanted it more today. Hoosiers played uh, more mistake-free football than the Wisconsin Badgers did today. Uh, an argument can be made that Indiana's coaching staff outcoached Wisconsin's coaching staff today. And I cannot say that I was uh, thinking I'd be saying that. Tom Allen, uh, they put a good game plan together, they, and they, uh, they deserve to win. Rough, rough times. So we have now seen the crater of the season. This is this is the low point. We have touched bottom. We have scraped bottom. It, it will not get worse than this. But here we are, four and, uh, f- uh, five and four, still a, a chance at a Big Ten West title, insanely given some of the results coming in from the Big Ten West, Northwestern and Iowa and uh, you know, the Gophers, Nebraska laying against Michigan State today, but that doesn't matter. We're not, that, 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 that is irrelevant at this point. This team, as, as hard as uh, the individuals work, and you know, I'm, I'm very, very cautious about being critical of the kids. But they just, they just, they didn't come in ready to play today. I don't want to tell you. I mean, they had to be better against the team that had Penn State in a stalemate inside of three minutes left in the fourth quarter last Sunday in State College. Uh, a very inspired, Helen overmatched Indiana Hoosier squad who wanted it more today. They wanted it more, and they took it. So. Luke Fickle and his staff and, and, and the players on his team need to take a, a good hard look in the mirror and ask themselves how to let that happen. And I understand. And I, and if you all see me on Twitter, I make, I won't say make excuses, but I'm the, I'm the, the biggest defender of this team as far as pointing out when things go wrong. I mean, they're playing without their two, two best running backs, um, time receiver, they're on their second string quarterback, making it at least third start. There's all kinds of headwinds against this Wisconsin team right now, but you got to find a way to beat Indiana though. It's just you can't sugarcoat that. That's a that's a that is a low moment, and I, I said this a couple minutes ago. I believe in this team enough to say that this will be the crater of this season. Things will not. Things will only get better from here. I'm not saying it's going to be a guaranteed win out. I'm not saying they're going to sneak into the Big Ten championship game. I'm, I'm saying that this was the crater. This was the low point. So we'll see what these kids are made of. We'll see how many practice they have. Uh, again, we got a lot of talented kids, a lot of hardworking guys in that locker room. Got some talented coaches, but boy, oh boy, those and I was amongst them. Those predictions: this team is gonna, gonna, you know, make the Big Ten championship game at twelve and one or eleven and one. It feels it feels embarrassing right now that I was so far off and we were so far off the mark. But I think it just shows that this team had a lot. Things were in a lot more dire shape when Fickle came in than we thought they were, and that just is what it is. So don't I, I don't think a Jim Leonard coach Wisconsin Badger team was was going to be, uh, you know, doing a lot better at this point. I, I just I think this this team the the hole was already dug and and they're digging out of it now. And when you're doing a wholesale change in style, it's it's more difficult. So anyway, that game is over. You got to move on. Let's let's leave this skull session that I don't want to be just about football with some positive things about other sports uh, in the Wisconsin universe. Wisconsin volleyball, number two in the country, playing some incredible volleyball. Their only loss was to uh, the number one team at Nebraska in five sets in a very tight match that we actually led late in that fifth set. Uh, the volleyball women are, are getting it done. 
Wisconsin hockey women, number one in the country, undefeated. Another sweep this weekend. Just getting it done. Mark Johnson is 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 a savant. Just just incredible. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the Wisconsin Badger men's hockey team. Mike Hastings, first year coach, brings a few transfers in. Some of his kids, some other kids, and I understand that the the rebuild. As bad as Wisconsin was last year with only six wins before Tony Granato got fired. Uh, a, 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 it's foolish to compare a hockey rebuild with, with a football rebuild. Luke Fickle's job, although the football team wasn't as down as the hockey team was, was a much larger job. But do not say – that does not diminish the magic that Mike Hastings is, is spinning right now at the Kohl Center with this team. Fresh off a sweep – on the road of number one, Minnesota, uh, number four, Michigan comes in to the Cole Center last night and Wisconsin looking like they're on their, on their last breath, two goals in the last four minutes of the game to escape with a five, four win. Um, big winning streak, first place in the big, in the big 10 conference. And they're picked fifth, the only team in the preseason conference to not find a player on first, second or third team preseason Total lack of disrespect, or total not, not a lack of disrespect, a, a, a tremendous amount of disrespect. But even in my most optimistic visions for this team, and I was very, very happy with the Mike Hastings hire. I knew that this would be a better, more competitive, uh, more disciplined team this season. I did not see a team that has a chance to be the number one team in the country in college hockey if they can if they can be um, Michigan again tonight. They could be number one with the new poll. That is that is shocking and amazing and an incredible testament to those kids and that coaching staff under Hastings. Just just a, a, a mammoth rebuild. And I, I think it's making some people feel even worse about the way the football is going. But as I said uh, a couple moments ago, hockey and football are different animals. This is this is apples and, and, and avocados. Totally different things. That doesn't diminish what Hastings is doing, though. It is absolutely incredible the job that he has done. So, I mean, it's a long season, but I, I the, the third Big Ten win uh, came on the 3rd of November this year. Last year, it was late in January before the Badgers won their third game. So keep an eye on that. Another team to look at, if anyone who's, who's checked my podcast out knows I had a couple of Scots soccer players on uh, this past week. The team now has a game against Iowa tomorrow for the Big Ten Tournament Championship over in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Wisconsin smoked Nebraska 3-1 to one yesterday in the semifinals. Uh, just, a, just a great group. Paula Wilkins coaching her, her, uh, her guts out there with this team. And that's the, that's the number 12 rate team in the country before this weekend. So let's, let's see, uh, see the Wisconsin fans come out and support their, their women's soccer team. Men's, men's soccer team had, a, had an up-and-down season, unfortunately. Their, their, their season ended. Um, but just just amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And and as I noted, uh, the basketball season is about to begin. And I and I recently published a Bucky's fifth quarter best case, worst case, most likely case scenario. And it, I've already taken a little bit of heat about how optimistic I am with this team. But I think this squad is going to be a really really competitive, uh, talented team for for Greg Gard this year. And uh, and I know I, there are other sports, wrestling, and, and women's basketball. I'm not trying to leave anyone out, but I'm just trying to hit hit the highs here. But anyway. Uh, put this Wisconsin Indiana loss behind you. Don't lash out at players on social. Doesn't do any good. Doesn't make you feel good. You're not a good person if you do it. Doesn't. It's not a win. It's a loss. Uh, hopefully, Fickle and his kids come in, have a good week of practice, and uh, turn it around. And um, you know, it's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. Uh, but you know, Nebraska, Northwestern, Minnesota. Those are three games you could win or the way they're all playing, you could lose any of those three games potentially. So I don't want, I don't want any kind of crap having to beat PJ Fleck to stop them from going to the big 10 championship game or something. I mean, come on now. Anyway, stick with the team skull session over, have a few spot at cow or maybe, maybe more than a few. And uh, let's put this Indiana loss behind us and, and think about the good things. Gary Alvarez out. Bye.